This is Somalia's first solar and wind-powered energy plant. It sits in a mountainous region in northeastern Somalia, currently producing 3.5 megawatts of energy, but engineers say it has the potential to reach up to 450 kilowatts. Founded in 2003 to cater for small business using the fuel system, this thriving industry previously charged 0.97 per kilowatts, but with the inclusion of solar and wind energy, it now charges $0.79 a reduction of almost 17%, boosting a business in the city. Together with our investors, we all agreed that we can no longer continue using fuel system. That was quite expensive then. We thought of the alternatives and we realized we have vast natural resources to create energy, mainly wind and sun. We brought together experts and set up this major. Saeed Hassan is the only female engineer at this center. She sits in the control room to monitor the entire system. As energy from solar, wind turbines is stored in this energy storage system for distribution to more than 13,000 clients all across the city. We have three wind turbines, each generating 250 kilowatts per hour. So at one given time, all three generate 750 kilowatts per hour. We have battery storage to store energy when we receive much energy from wind and our solar panels to discharge to our clients. Company officials say the success of this pilot project can now be extended to other regions of the country. In the capital, Mogadishu, private companies charge high prices for energy with majority relying on the fuel system. We began the wind energy project in 2017. We've successfully completed the pilot project. I recommend this success can be implemented to other regions of the country. We are the second country in Africa after South Africa to have fuel, solar and wind energy being stored together in our power generation plant. The return of the diaspora has also seen an increase in new business ventures, among them downtown restaurants like this one in Getaway, that attracts mainly working class and young people. This city in northern Somalia is lit thanks to solar and wind energy. Business is also booming in this rapidly expanding city due to improved security and reduced cost of energy, with restaurants and businesses such as this one behind me remaining open until midnight. The region is stable compared to the rest of the country, with a population of close to 400,000 people, with three major airports and a strategic port that serves towns as far as central Somalia. And with many promising wind sites, abundant sunshine that can produce solar and wind power, experts say that this latest example can help address the country's total energy needs. Abdul Aziz Bilal, CGTN, Getaway, Puntland, in northeastern Somalia.